Son, God's great love for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. At Easter. As we celebrate that simple theology that God is generous, and so we are grateful. Let's call to mind how many times God has loved us, pouring out his grace upon us through the sacraments that we receive. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us for sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and with your blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God, by whose grace, though sinners, we are made just, and though pitiable, made blessed. Stand, we pray, by your works, stand by your gifts, that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the apostles and the presbyters, My brothers, you are well aware that from early days God made his choice among you, that through my mouth the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, or witness by granting them the Holy Spirit, just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith he purified their hearts. Why then are you now putting God to the test by placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear? On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus, in the same way as they. The whole assembly fell silent, and they listened. While Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders, God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, James responded, My brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agree with this, as is written. After this I shall return and rebuild the fallen hut of David. From its ruins I shall rebuild it and raise it up again, so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord. Even all the Gentiles, on whom my name is invoked. Thus does the Lord, who accomplishes these things, known from of old. It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter to avoid pollution from idols, unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals, and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who, had, who proclaimed him in every town, as has been read in the synagogue every Sabbath. The word of the Lord. Yes, it's good. Alleluia. Alleluia. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Alleluia. Announce salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Alleluia. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. 
begin telling the same story. The souls who only received a sacrament a few times in their life, they don't have much to tell Dante. So they just keep repeating the story. Higher up in heaven, the souls who received many sacraments, maybe they received the Eucharist every day, Let me find 
Father, we ask you here to answer all of these prayers, to grant them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, O God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, O God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual work. Blessed be God Pray, my sisters in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the hands, for the praise of God, the glory of His name, for our good and for all of His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme God, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to the right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to claim you, O Lord, but in this time of all to lodge you and more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfill them in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, he showed himself to be the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. And therefore, we're with the gospel joy. Every land and every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they claim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, come and heard that of your glory. Hosanna. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make a whole prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and abundant sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant your peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all those who hold into the truth, hand down that Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, especially the parishioners of St. Mary the Assumption Church, West Brooklyn. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or the offer for themselves, and all who are dear to them. For the redemption of their souls, the hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. And commune with those whose memory memory, especially the glories of the Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. And blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints, we ask that 
graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace. Command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord.
Thank you for allowing me to share my life. And I become more like you through this secret. Let me not take you for granted, but always pray for those whose lives are wrapped with sin, ignorance, and selfishness. Let me remember the words of St. Paul that dare me with the grace of God to love God. Each day I can become more like you. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O oh Lord, and lead those that you have imbued with these heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways of life to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. I'm with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth with joy, proclaiming all that Jesus Christ has done for you. Thanks be to God. Say, Michael, your angel. And be our protection, our friends, and we get this snares of heaven. Be God, you can be with us.